potential candidate, get this thing filled in, you know. We need to uh, we need to fill in the ranks out there. So right now my main objective and goal is is to get people in the field, man, because you know, my job is to be the CEO. You know, I need to I need to pull the strings, I need to make the calls, I need to get the sales, I need to implement the leadership. I need guys like this guy, Francisco, that's willing to work hard, go out there, you know, get things done, use his hands, get dirty, and I'm willing to do the same thing, but if I'm gonna become the CEO, I gotta make sure that I'm doing these kind of things and putting people and implementing, and guys like Chris that are loyal and they're willing to step up, so that's what you need to do in your business too. I'm not one to fire people, man. Like, I don't like firing people. I'm not that type of guy, to be honest, okay? Mm -hmm. You would think I am, probably. But I got the biggest heart is what you'll start to realize, dude, is I got a big heart, man. And behind this facade, I got a big heart for people, dude. And like, I wanna help them. But if I've learned that if you start taking advantage of me, things start getting kind of messy, you know, you're not giving your 100%, I can't help you. Because it's power with power. Like, if you believe in yourself, that's my next question for you. Like, do you believe in yourself? Yes, sir. Do you think you have power that you can make things happen? Of course. See, I'm in. <laughs> Thanks you. for coming out, brother. Okay. I'm excited Thank to have you. you. Okay. Yeah. services done to the property. Uh, he was over at another property where we did business together out at uh, LA. And he just moved over to this property. It's a really high-end property, nice property. And that's the importance of building relationships, guys, is wherever your, your relationship goes, money will flow to you. All right, we're here. About to get this, get this done. Let's go build this relationship real quick. We already got it, so let's see how this thing goes. All right, guys, we're gonna call up our uh, client that we went for a meeting on the other day, and told you money's all in the follow-up. So you gotta call and follow up, or email, or do something. Always, always, always leave a voicemail. A lot of people think that they shouldn't leave a voicemail because they think that they're bugging that person. And when you think that you're bugging that person, dude, they know you call. They see it on the missed call log. So a lot of people will just hang up and not leave the voicemail so they can pretend like they didn't call and then they can try to call back again. But you need to call back again anyway and leave the voicemail. Always leave a voicemail. Anyways, we Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. And so for privacy, you know, I'm not really gonna say any names or anything, but uh, you know, some things happen and we don't know exactly what that is right now. Two things you should do. One, you step in as the business owner, as the entrepreneur, as the guy that you're in charge of the business and you do whatever's necessary. Step two, yesterday I called, I, I, have, an, I have an Indeed account and a recruiting site and I scheduled five interviews right away. Why five? Technically, it should have been probably 10. Here's the deal when you're hiring people, when you're hiring people, you're gonna do 10 interviews and you might hire two or three people and out of those two or three people, only one person is gonna work out. It's just the way it is, man. The job market is really tough. It's hard to find good help. So be prepared for that. Deal, 
guys. Just because you're the boss doesn't mean you can't get dirty, man. If you want something to get done, absolutely delegate, get people to, you know, do stuff for you, put them in charge and all that good stuff. But what are you gonna do when an employees quit on you? What are you gonna do when you're just starting out and you ain't got no money, you ain't got no resources, and you have no options but to get dirty and get this thing started yourself. I think after you come out here on the 30th row and you get to do those two panel things with me, you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna feel a lot more confident. And it, it'll be cool if you have your own equipment because you should bring it out with you so you can use it out there with us. Cool, all right, brother, I'll talk to you soon. All right, bye. Cool, so we're all set. Uh, coaching call is done. And we collected our first payment for Overcomer Academy and uh, exciting stuff, man. So this is uh, gonna be one of our courses, which is teaching people how to build their own business, essentially, in a service industry. This one in particular is right in my knowledge category, uh, which is in the solar panel cleaning industry is where I started. So he already owns a solar company, and so he's adding this service to his business. And I think it's gonna be awesome. He's gonna have a huge success story, and we're gonna share that with you guys. <laughs> sell you any tricks or, or tell you that business is easy or, or anything like that because it's gonna take work and it's gonna take time no matter what but I think I still would have been in the ditches you know two and a half years ago if I didn't make this one little business shift this one little change